Right, this one is 100% um, glitchy and you know, it's not massively glitchy, it's just a bit of an exploit in the way the bombs work. So uh, once you've seen the first one, you will probably get the general principle. Um, there's only one specific uh, one that you have to destroy normally. Um, I like this route because you just feel like you storm through everything and just shotgun your way through the game. If you go to one of these bombs and you put a plank onto the transmitter and hit it, it will pull the transmitter out of the bomb. If you blow the bomb up, it will still count as the alarm going off. However, um, this just removes the uh, transmitter or whatever, however the game is programmed to work, and it ticks it off as if you've done the objective, even though you haven't. Um, you can go through all of these um, and storm your way around the map and stick planks in the top of them, bar one, um, which we'll need to blow up normally. That is actually quite a lot of fun doing it like this, and it will get you, it will, you will be able to uh, complete the, complete the mission in whatever your reaction time for pressing the E key is. Uh, it turns out mine's four seconds, which is not really good for uh, reaction times, but there we go. I am wondering where we can use this in the other levels now. I do have a video that um, should be, will be on, um, which will have this mission done correctly. Um, this is obviously just a glitch and an exploit, but um, why not? If it, if it works, why not give it a go? Okay, so the one in the lighthouse we're just going to skip because um, for some reason when you put the plank on it, I mean it might be possible to get it to work, when you put the plank on it, it pulls the whole transmitter off the bomb um, and instead of it clashing the way that the game logic obviously works, instead of it clashing that the bomb has exploded and blown the thing out of it, it, it seems to not to work with the with the transmitter, so there, there might be a way of messing around with planks on that, I'll have a look at um but for the sake of 0.4 seconds or 0.2 seconds, whatever human reaction time is, like it's not really, it's not really worth it. This one here is the one I actually figured it out. The, for some reason, the developers where they put it in, the the top bit has actually held in the transmitter. So when you break the blue bit and top to move it, it automatically pulls it out. And from that point onwards, I kind of just put two and two together. Right. So this one we do have to do legitimately. So head back up. Uh, to just above the boat. I mean, you can do it from the boat. There's absolutely no benefit from this. Um, get yourself onto the wall. Position yourself above the boat. Give it a little quick save as well. Why not? Probably won't need it. Um, and then aim significantly above the lighthouse. So just below the tip of the ceiling from my uh, of that building roof. From my point. Drop down, and as soon as you see the alarm, you tap the E key. Obviously, don't do it before because you won't get the optional objective. And that is one way to uh, ruin a really good game if you want to. I mean, even the game's having a nightmare, flashback scenes of what's happened in the in the end thing. But hey, it's there if you're struggling. <laughs> 